Hello and happy Friday. So, <laughs> I have a few things to show you. Um, if anybody, I will link the link the link below. I'll link a couple links below if I remember. Um, for those of you who watch Patriots Happy Place, um, let's see. It was last Sunday she did... I had asked her two Sundays ago, not last Sunday, but Sunday before last, because last year she did, she was doing the same thing that Mad Mimi's, uh, Laura does, and she, um, was doing a pick, pick her next whip, pick her next project, and so she got, last year she'd gotten out the projects, gotten out the yarn, her husband put them in bags, well, it took up too much space for her to do it that way and I had asked her why she you know why she had stopped doing that and it, it doesn't matter why people stop doing things just you know you get used to it and it's kind of fun for for the viewers it's kind of also fun for the person that's doing the project um, because they don't actually know what they're doing there. They know they're going to be making something that they do like, but they don't know exactly what it is. So this video is not necessarily about that. I'm just, um, teeing you up for something I'm going to show. <laughs> Sorry, it's long and it's not really. So anyway, um, I had asked her, well, she decided, you know, that was kind of fun. I'll, I'll see how it works out this time. So she decided to do it a little bit different way. And, um, so she put, she had us pick out the people that were in her live chat last Sunday, pick out, she had picked out a small-ish stack of projects and she and uh, we picked out seven. She's probably going to do all of them at some point, I'm sure. I'm sure everybody has a stack like this of projects they'd like to do someday. <laughs> I know I do. Um, I have printed, I have tons of stuff that's printed out. Uh, and then I have other stuff that's on the computer that I haven't printed out and then stuff that's in my Ravelry library that I got before the whole Ravelry thing a few years ago uh, so we helped her pick out her next projects she so there was seven next projects and she put them in um, the padded envelopes and we also helped her pick out the yarn. So the yarn she put into a bin, a, a basket, because I thought, well, when you had it in the bags, it was nice. Even though it took up a lot of space, it's nice to have it in the bags because you're not pulling it. If for some reason you decide to do another project other than that particular one, because as... A lot of people know or probably everybody knows some people like to do more than one projects at a time um, so they you know they work on multiple projects or they have I don't know they work on multiple projects at a time um, and so I thought, well, if maybe you are going to work on another project, you're going to get out the yarn that you thought you were going to use for this. So anyway, she decided to put it in a basket or in a bin. Uh, it's a basket, not a bin. Anyway, so we picked her next project. And everybody, there was, I don't remember how many votes she had for number four, but she had tried to name off 
as many patterns as she could remember. And one of the patterns that she couldn't remember was the Sweet Clara Top by Kristen Omdahl. And um, I had said that as one of the patterns. That just happened to be the pattern that she picked. So I decided if I can find sock yarn, no, size 2 yarn, um, I would also do it. I don't have Kristen Omdahl yarn. I do have Expression Fiber Arts though. And I do have I I do have enough to make a, the top, including to make it in my size. I hope. I, I think so. I'm pretty sure. Um anyway, so I got it caked up and that took a lot of the first three was not too bad. Um one of them had a lot of trouble staying on the yarn winder. I would it would get so far and I remember uh Natalie from Natalie's Closet had mentioned this with one of her Expression Fiber Arts yarns. And she, I think she ended up getting a new yarn winder. Um, does anybody know how to, other than doing a method from, um, I think it was, I want to say it was season four or season five of Project Runway, which is exactly what I did. Um... And you probably have no clue what I'm talking about. And that's okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm talking about here in a minute. But does anybody have any clue on how to... Um, how do I want to put this? Make it so your yarn ball winder isn't so slippery with some of your yarns. Now some of your yarns for some reason can grip the ball winder and other yarns can't. Well, after doing two hanks, my one decided to slip off. So, I took it, after it popped off, I set it down and started winding it again from, from the one that had popped off. Well, then it popped off a second time. So I had the hank and two cakes and a whole lot of mess. And we're talking a whole lot of mess. It took me... Oh, probably about a good four or five hours to get it all untangled and rewound. I finally got it rewound. But in the meantime, the last hank, I had to wet it a little bit. I had to... This is going to be a top for myself, so it doesn't matter. But anyway, I had to wet it. I had to... Yeah, I didn't want it in the most um, professional sense, I guess. Um, so anyway, and if you if you happen to watch Project Runway and you happen to catch um, a certain designer marking her clothes in a very unconventional unconventional way, you'll know what I'm talking about. So anyway, I didn't use water. Just saying. <laughs> kind of gave it a cat bath. Um, gross, I know, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, so I have a few things to show you. And I said I was going to do this video. And this is one of the videos that I said I was going to do in the other video. I did and was going to post. And then I decided not to post it. So I scrapped it. So, um... So, I decided to work on the Sweet Clara Top. I decided to use Expression Fiber Arts yarn. And I got all of the yoke done. I got the yoke joint, or the body part joint, and I got the second set of yarn attached. So, whoa, hello. So if you're in Petra's, Petra's Happy Places group on Facebook, and I'm going to plug it because I'm going to show you the yarn. <coughs> so here's the yoke. So this is, this is March's yarn, um, March's yarn club yarn, and it's the Luster Sport, I think. But so, 
It's a yellowy. It's got some pinks in it. It's got some greens and some blues and some browns and mostly yellows for the top part. And then this has some blues and some purples and some greens for the next part. And then the next part's going to be blues and, and greens. And then the bottom is going to be... Um, so I'm going to use all of the purpley color here before I change it to the next color. And I'll use all of that color before I change it to the fourth color. And if I decide to add more to the sleeve, then I will use, sorry, I will use the yellow until the yellow is gone. And then I'll use like the bottom of the top for the a couple of um, rounds on the bottom of the sleeve. So that's what I decided for that. Again, it was March's, I got all four colors for March. So it was March's um, Luster Sport. Um, well, I don't have the papers in here, or the cards in here. Anyway, as I said, if you are in Patriots Happy Places um, Facebook group, the pictures of the yarn and the yoke are in there. The yoke laid out before I joined it for the body. Um, if you're not, go ahead and join our group. Go over there and, and join our group. Um, sometimes there's a lot of posts, sometimes there's not. But, um, okay, so second item of business. I am really hot. Okay. I said I would show you the yarn that I've gotten for expression fiber, from Expe Expression Fiber Arts, and the only yarn that I'm waiting on is not coming until next month anyway, so that's okay. Okay. So the next, the finished object that I haven't shown you is, and I don't think I showed you this, but, and if I did, pretend that I didn't, and I'll show you again. <laughs> So this is the prolongation wrap, and I haven't blocked it yet, and I don't know that I am. I was going to, I bought the blocking mats, and I probably will because it's not, it just doesn't seem wide enough to me, but You know, and I was thinking, if you use these colors all the way through, or even the darker blue and this color, um, you could use it as a as a prayer shawl. But that's that's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see all the colors. So it's got the. the coral and the red and then so I had a lot of fun doing this um yeah it still needs to be blocked though I don't like to block Ever. Now on to New York. Okay. Okay. So we're now in May. March is April's. 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 She decided for the Secret Society to do um, the same size of yarn since people were wanting to make something like at the end of the year using the Secret Society yarn and that's what I want to do. So from here on out I think it's all going to be in worsted. So this is Write Your Story. It's pearlescent worsted 50 Mer superwash merino, 50 mulberry spit. Well, so 220 yards. Um, needle 6 to 10, hook G to J. So, there is the yarn, 
and it is such a pretty color it feels so nice and soft um so i will put this in with the rest of my um secret society and then here is the um fish marker so there's that yarn then I saw some yarn that I really did like so I had to get it really need to stop doing that I don't know what I'm gonna do with this but this is the passion hues passionate hues and I think it would go good with another um, one that she has this is resilient sock 100% superwash merino US02, look BDE, hand wash, lay flat to dry. And I think that's what that other one was too. So the now see this color is one that I was looking for to do the wings on that little moth guy that I made. This is what I was looking for. He's already done and he went home. And my friends my son's friend liked it which is nice. Bray said he liked it even if he didn't. <laughs> so there's that color. It's not looking, I mean it's looking lighter there than it actually does. It, it appears lighter to me in the camera and I'm not saying that that's how it actually appears to you because I don't know. And so here's, this has some purples and some uh, other colors. So I really like those and I think that they would go good with another set that she has that's got I think five colors in, um, but I can't remember and I don't remember what the name is. It's a flower, I think it's a flower set, flower theme set kind of. Um, so that's that set. As I said, it's 220. Well, it's 1,200 yards total. <laughs> so if I were to make a top, it would have to be like a lacy top. Um, that one that I'm, the Sweet Clara that I'm working on right now is a, um, is a lacy top, but it's also a, um, takes 1,300 yards, I think, for the extra extra large which apparently is what I need okay sorry about that all right so and then I got some other new colors so this is the colors for ooh Wow, I like that one. I like that one. And these are the colors for the um, May um, Insiders Yarn Club. Um, and I really, really, really like these. This is a lace weight, I believe, and so, and I just pulled these out of the mailbox today. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. You know, I really don't like, I don't hardly ever go to Joann's, Michael's, or Hobby Lobby right now. I've got so much on this. Um, I'm not, I'm really not trying to brag. When I go into the store, if I go into the store, I try not to because I don't want to buy yarn that I don't need or that I'm not going to use. I still have cotton yarn from last summer. Now, keep in mind, I made five shirts last summer. Five tops. I made... A spirit Mandela 
top or was it yeah it was spirit spirit mandela top i made a white um cotton cake top i made a coral pinkish comfy cotton top i made a coral and white tank top and i made another cotton cake lacy top five tops last summer is what i got done um, I don't even remember when I started the first one. I'd have to look at my sheet. I haven't been writing dates when I've started things lately. I need to get back to that. Um, anyway, so like I said last summer, I did make five tops. <coughs> and... So, this time she used um, butterfly colors. And it's alpaca silk lace. I'm guessing it's 604 yards, right? Yeah. 604 yards, hand wash. It's 50 baby alpaca, 50 mulberry silk. Um, hooks zero to, th or needles zero to three, hooks B to E. So this is called rain whoops and then this one is called dye d-a-i kind of a greenish bluish something or other And Naya. That's really pretty. And then this is my favorite. I should have, if I would have known that it was going to be this color, I would have gotten um, this color, like four of this color. This is Saga. Um, and then we, uh, a water pot with yarn balls and flowers. We got four of those. So, no, not put this back yet. But, um, this is getting long. Um, so anyway, I, I need to cut this off. Uh, anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but as I was saying, I don't like to go into, now I found yarn that I really like or that I want to try or whatever, but I've gotten into, I need to justify my buy, my yarn buys, um, because I'm not crocheting constantly um right now and like I was before and the reason I mean less room less time I'm not on a buying ban But I'm also, I try to only get yarn twice a month from Expression Fiber Arts. And that's the Secret Society and the, the um, Yarn of the Month. Those two times. The Passionate Hues was an extra. Um, and then, of course, my Letha Co. box that I get every month. Um, I, I do want to try, I do want to make some tops in, like, in bamboo and stuff like that. 
I want to make dresses for, I have four little nieces. I have a niece that is, a niece that just turned five. No. I have two nieces that just turned five. Two great nieces that just turned five. I have a, a niece that is two and a half. She'll be three in October, the end of October. And then I have a niece that is these are nieces that live here in town. Um, a niece that is hmm, I want to say she just turned seven. So four. I have four of them. So two five-year-olds, a three-year-old, and a seven-year-old. Um, that I want to make dresses for, especially one of the five-year-olds and the three-year-old. Um, but when that's going to happen, I don't know. Ouch. They don't, actually, those two don't live here in town. Those live, they live out of town, but, um, I would love to make something for, for those two. Um. Anyway, I gotta, it's getting to be almost a half an hour. So, the next time I pop on, hopefully, I'll be further. Actually, the next time that I come on, I will have probably gotten into the green. Because I'm not going to show it until I get into the green. And then, after I get into the, after I get the green done and get into the other, into the lighter green, I'll show again, probably. Otherwise, I'm not expecting, not expecting any yarn. <laughs> no more yarn. Till next month, I'll be expecting my May's Secret Society, and that's not coming out until the middle of next month. And then, um, of course, June's um, yarn of the month is not coming out until almost the end of June. So. But I think that's all. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> Happy crocheting. Happy yarning. Happy Friday. Bye.